What's up, YouTube? This is Gene CRX Dude back here again. Um, thank you guys for tuning in and uh, watching the video, and thank you all for the support. Uh, so today we are out here at uh, Rockland, Pool. Rockland uh, California, or Antelope, actually. And so um, I am actually going to make a quick video here on disconnecting the cable um, from the hatch. There's a connection right here in the on the uh, passenger um, upper corner there, and I mean it looks like you can just uh, pull out the pull out the connection there, um, but you actually it actually takes a little bit more than that. A lot of people just uh, end up cutting the connection, and so I mean you can do that, but it's not strongly advised you know if you want to keep that OEM keep it all OEM if you want to remove it correctly uh, first thing you're gonna do is actually find the um, connection so you want to take this plug out here you're gonna to have to remove the whole rear interior side panel there unfortunately um, from, this is my experience. Uh, um, there might be another way to do it, but uh, this is how I've learned. I've just assembled uh, multiple Hondas and or CRXs, and this is the best way to do it. So, take a needle nose pliers. Let's see. Let me set this camera down here. So I'll take the needle nose and put this plug through here. This clip is being extremely difficult today. But once you get that out, then you'll see the connection here on the back side. And then you grab your flathead. Pop that connection apart, and then the next thing you can do is start working the harness up the side here. Sometimes you gotta just work it and pull it forward, pull it back. Sometimes it can be a pain. Uh, let's see. So it runs through the channel inside the frame. And uh, this is the only way to get it out. You may remove, remove the hatch complete, completely and and that'll help you get um, a better pulling angle. Yeah, this doesn't. Sometimes it comes out easier than others. Right now, it's just it's. Testing my patience, actually. <coughs> Let's see. All right, so I'm back. So I figured out the problem. Um, if you look right in this little crack, you have to remove the vent. 
Uh, you can see, um, let's see, where's my finger at? Right inside of here, into the vent. Um, you can see that the, uh, the cord got snagged on a little portion of the uh, interior section there. And so that is it right there. Um, just remove the cable. You got that cable out. Now you can uh, disconnect the whole um, disconnect the whole assembly from the car. You know, without cutting any wires. So um, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I hope it helps somebody. Uh, if you have any questions or any other uh, tips or tricks, um, please leave the leave a comment. Um, when you try to put it back, what, probably the best thing to do is use a, a wire, uh, a hanger, hanger, um, and, you know, slide it through there, um, to get it through. You might use, that's probably be the best thing to get it back in. Um, but yeah, just, I hope this video helps somebody. Uh, remember to subscribe to the homies, Young Static, uh, John Martin Bryant, EF Buddies, Lazy Van Garage, Debbie Garage, and uh, Garage Built Hondas. All right, everybody, have a good day. Peace. Remember to keep the uh, EFs on the road.